Okay, let us now discuss criminal law one. Let us first define criminal law. That is accordingly a branch of substantive law. Ano ibig sabihin natin ng substantive law? Pag sinabing substantive law, ito ay kasagot sa tanong how each member of the society behaves. So, ito ay ma-differentiate natin sa procedural law. Ang procedural law naman ay kasagot sa tanong how substantive law is made, administered, and enforced. So, yan ang kaibahan ng substantive law at saka procedural law. So, kung bigyan natin ng pasin ang substantive law, dito ang criminal law, criminal law 1, criminal law 2. Whereas, pag sinabing procedural law, so yung criminal evidence, criminal procedure, yan ay sakop sa tinatawag natin na procedural law. So, criminal law is a branch of substantive law which defines crimes. So, magsasabi siya kung ano ang act na makonsider na crime. Threats of their nature. Sasabihin niya kung anong klaseng crime niyan. Like, for example, crime against persons, crimes against property, crimes against uh, personal liberty and security, and so on and so forth. And it should provide punishment. Kasi kahit na ang isang batas may nagbabawal, pero wala namang kaakibat na penalty or punishment, hindi yan matawag na criminal law. It is also a branch of public law which deals with the relation of individual with the state. So, it is the state, ang gobyerno, ang mag-regulate sa mga tao. So, under the social contract theory, ang bawat individual may mga liberties siya na sinusurrender niya sa government. And in return, the government will protect its individual. So, that is social contract theory. So, in here, merong tinatawag na application of that particular theory that in the case of criminal law, that is about dealing with the relation of the individual with the state. So, let us now go to the definition of important terms. So the first one, crime. So, per definition, it says, Generic term. Ano ibig sabihin natin ng generic term? Sabihin yan, general. So, pag general, merong mga specific term na applicable. So, pag sinabing crime, that is a wrongdoing punished by the RPC or special law. So, in other words, ang mga batas na pinag-usapan, it could be RPC or special law. It is defined also as an act committed, committed in violation of public law forbidding or commanding it. So, pag ang crime na pinag-usapan ay punished under the RPC, ang term ay felony. Pag ang crime na pinag-usapan ay special law, ang term ay offense. However, we have to be very careful in the application of the term felony at saka offense kasi ang dalawang terms na to ay ginagamit interchangeably doon sa RPC. Kung babasahin mo ang RPC, may mga articles doon na ang paggamit ay offense or felony. Ibig ba sabihin na ang offense doon punished under special law? The answer is no. Simply because ang term na offense 
ay nakita doon sa RPC. So, kahit na offense ang ginamit, it is still to be understood as felony. That is why ang felony at saka offense ay interchangeably used in the RPC. Okay? So, tinan natin ang particular article. Makikita ang particular example na yan sa Article 48 of the RPC dealing with complex crimes. Dito, merong term na offense. Pero, gaya ng nasabi natin, hindi ibig sabihin na punishable siya under special law. So, dalawang klase ang complex crimes. Una is when a single act constitutes two or more grave or less grave felonies. So, ang ginamit na term dito ay felonies. Ang pangalawang klaseng complex crime ay when an offense is a necessary means of committing the other. So, dito ang ginamit na term ay offense. Pero hindi ibig sabihin na ito ay patungkol sa special law. Kaya sabi natin, pag ginamit ang term na offense or felony under the RPC, it is used interchangeably. The other specific type of crime is misdemeanor. That is a minor infraction of law. So a good example to this one is city or municipal ordinance. So let us now go to the sources of criminal law. So the first source is the Revised Penal Code, that is Act Number 3815. So be careful, ah, kasi may mga tanong sa board examinations na tinatanong itong number na to, pero may mga choices na Act Number 3815, meron ding Republic Act Number 3815, meron ding Commonwealth Act of or number 3815 and so on or PD number 3815 but the correct answer should only be act number 3815 otherwise known as the revised penal code another source of criminal law is special penal laws and the penal presidential decrees especially during martial law. Now, what about um, court decisions? Yung tinatawag natin na case law. So, are they part of the sources of criminal law? The answer is no. Kasi ano yung nakalista? Yun lang ang matawa natin na sources of criminal law. While that being the case, ang case law or yung jurisprudence natin, hindi natin matawag na sources of criminal law that is about the basic sources of criminal law. Pero, they are incorporated in our law as if they are law in themselves. Kasi kung paano ininterpret ng Supreme Court ang isang batas, ang interpretation niya will already be incorporated as if they are already law. So, so, pero ang pinag-usapan, basic sources, it should only be the RPC, Special Penal Laws, and the Penal Presidential Decrees. 